Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to measure accelerometer data. So this is going to be similar to yesterday's video where I showed you guys how to measure gyro data, but I didn't really have a way to show it. So today I have my own phone, and um, this is just my phone, and I'm actually going to be displaying the uh, running the app on the phone and then moving it around so you can see what happens. So it's going to be very similar to yesterday's except for accelerometer data. Um, so let me just try and spell it right. Excel uh, Romita. Oops. Uh, accelerometer demo. So the accelerometer basically it's just how fast something's accelerating. So I have to move my phone quite a bit for you guys to actually see it. But what I can do, uh, I'm just going to create a label there. Get some constraints. And I'll just label this Excel uh, X axis. Every time I spell that word, I don't know if I'm doing it right. So it's going to be very similar to yesterday's video with Gyro. Uh, let me just label this label. You need to create a movement manager. So let movement manager equals oh, equals a CM motion manager. Uh, oh, we forgot to import the core motion and see our motion manager and then in the view did load we can start it so what we have to do is we can do movement manager dot start accelerometer update and then we can also set the uh, accelerometer time interval so this is how much it updates by um, we can just set this to one so it's as quick as possible then we also need to set a timer so it's constantly updating, constantly checking how it is. Timer dot schedule timer. Um, wait, we don't want a schedule timer uh, with time interval one. Repeat true. Then in the block we just do this, and then let's just create our data in a guard let if let. Well, not really guard, but it's just checking um, if it's like working. If let data equals self dot movement manager dot accelerometer data, we have the data, and now we can just set the label to that. So we have to convert it to a string, and then movement. Uh, I mean, data dot acceleration dot x or y or z. So we'll just do x. Uh, what's wrong with it? Oh, so so now I'm actually going to be able to display it. So let's run this now, and uh, let me bring out this. Oh, we need to trust it. So you just go all the way over to general, and you go here, and you go down to device management, trust that, and we can now go back over here, and let's try again. Uh, let me just open this again. So now it's actually working. So I'm moving my phone around and you can see it's kind of speeding up. It's a bit slow but if we change this to be 0 0.1 that'll make it a lot quicker. So now let's uh, go back to here and it's still, oh wait, actually it's only updating every 0 0.1 second because of this as well. So you need to change them both. When you had the gyro you only need to change it here. But now it should be a lot quicker. Let me just, yeah, there we go. So yeah, uh, now I can actually demonstrate the um, sensor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.